Hello and welcome. You're watching Beyond Speed. Over the next half hour, we'll be getting you all the latest from around the world and a quick wrap of all the news. Let's get you straight to the first story. China simulated sealing off Taiwan during a third day of war games around the self-ruled island after two days of exercises that included simulating targeted strikes on the Taiwan region and encirclement of the island. The Chinese military said the war games also include, included sealing it off. China's People's Liberation Army Eastern Theater Command also put out a short animation of simulated attacks on uh, China. Uh, on Taiwan, on its social media, the video displayed missiles fired from land, sea, air into the island's territory, with two of them exploding in flames as they hit their targets. Taiwan's defense ministry has said that it has spotted 59 military aircrafts and 11 ships around Taiwan on Monday. Taiwanese fighter jets were seen taking off and landing at an airbase in the island's north as China continues a series of military drills simulating strikes on Taiwan. China, which claims democratically governed Taiwan as its own territory, began three days of military exercises around the island on April 8th, a day after the Taiwanese president Tsai Ing-wen returned from her brief visit to the U.S. where she met with the House Speaker Kevin McCarthy. Senior Japanese and Chinese officials met to discuss maritime concerns in disputed waters in the East China Sea. Japan's Defense Ministry says Chinese aircraft carrier Shandong had conducted air operations in waters close to Japan's Okinawa Islands on April 9th. Japan's Defense Ministry claims fighter jets and helicopters took off and landed on the carrier 120 times between Friday and Sunday. Lawmakers in South Korea have expressed strong regret regarding reports of the U.S. alleged spying on top South Korean security officials. Classified documents were leaked online ranging from Ukraine's air defenses to Israel's Mossad. One of the documents detailed internal discussions among senior South Korean officials about U.S. pressure on Seoul to help supply weapons to Ukraine. Some lawmakers call the spying allegations a clear violation of national sovereignty and a major security failure of the South Korean president. Ukraine's Deputy Foreign Minister has said that India should be pragmatic in securing its resources, including energy and defense equipment, speaking on the India-Russia ties. Ukraine's uh, Deputy Foreign Minister said that Ukraine is in no position to instruct India about their economic ties with other countries, but they think that India should diversify all its resources, not only energy, but also military. Ukraine's Deputy Minister also met the Indian Foreign Minister during uh, her visit to New Delhi. Dozens of Jewish worshippers were escorted by Israeli police as they visited Jerusalem's holy site revered by both Jews and Muslims. Tensions have soared, uh, have soared in the past week at the Flashpoint Shrine after an Israeli police raid on the mosque. On several occasions, Palestinians have barricaded themselves inside the Al-Qasa Mosque with stones and firecrackers demanding the right to pray uh, there overnight. The police removed them by force, detailing hundreds and leaving dozens injured. The violence at the shrine triggered rocket fire by Palestinian militants from the Gaza Strip and the southern Lebanon region and Israeli airstrikes retaliated by targeting both these areas. Hundreds of mourners attended the funeral of two British-Israeli sisters in West Bank who were killed in a Palestinian shooting attack on Friday. Their mother was also seriously wounded in the attack. The incident came amid soaring tensions between Israel and Palestinian Palestine over the past week after an Israeli raid on the Al-Aqsa Mosque. Following this, militants in Lebanon fired 34 rockets at Israel in a major barrage, sparking retaliatory strikes hours later. Uh, the two British-Israeli sisters were killed, followed by another attack on 
foreign nationals in Israel on Friday. The tensions this week have been capped by cross-border strikes between Israel and Syria after six rockets were launched by the latter towards Israel. Two bodies were found in the rubble of a building that collapsed in the southern French city of Marseille following a major explosion. This, according to the fire department, five people were injured in neighboring buildings which were damaged by the collapse, while eight people who are missing are thought to be under the rubble. The interior minister stated 30 buildings in the area were evacuated and an aid center for people looking for missing family members or loved ones had been opened in the neighboring district as well. The cause of the explosion is yet to be revealed. Andrew Tate arrived at Romania's directorate uh, for investigating organized crime and terrorism. Tate is an internet personality who has been in a Romanian jail for months on suspicions of organized crime and human trafficking. Tate and his brother, who uh, has also been arrested, made their first appearance in front of the investigators after being placed under house arrest almost two weeks ago. The Tate brothers were initially detained in late December in uh, Bucharest along with two other Romanian women. Uh, the Court of Appeal ruled in favour of the brothers on Friday and they will remain under house arrest until April 29th. A vessel with around 400 people on board is adrift between Greece and Malta and is taking on uh, the water while the captain had left and there was nobody who could steer the boat. Now, a German NGO, Sea Watch International, said that it had found the boat with two merchant ships nearby. It said the Maltese authorities had ordered the ships not to carry out rescue and that one of them was just asked to supply it with fuel. Another NGO alarm, uh, alarm phone said that they had received a call from the boat which departed from Libya. The support service said people on board were panicking with several of them requiring medical attention. A group of Venezuelans burned an effigy representing Judas in a chariot, the apostle who betrayed Jesus in an Easter time ritual on Sunday. However, the ritual took a political turn as the effigy included four heads with images of politicians including Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro and the country's former oligarch uh, Tarek El Esami. Uh, in March, Maduro ordered a crackdown on corruption inside the PDVSA, Venezuelan state-owned oil and national gas company. This has led to a number of, of arrests of top officials and businessmen accused of stealing oil shipments. The allegations prompted the resignation of al Asami, a key figure in the government's efforts to evade U.S. oil sanctions. Amid a surge in COVID-19 cases in India, the central government has planned nationwide mock drills on Monday and Tuesday. This is to assess the readiness of government and private hospitals. Mock COVID preparedness drills are underway in three cities, Chennai in Tamil Nadu, Patna in Bihar and Jajjar in Haryana. The Indian Health Minister will visit all the All India Institute of Medical Sciences University in Haryana's Jajjar today to oversee the mock drills. India has recorded 5,880 cases in the last 20 four hours alone, the total number of active cases has risen to 35,199. More than 90 endangered baby uh, loggerhead turtles have been released back into the wild on the New South Wales Central Coast after the nest was excavated last week. 130 eggs were excavated from Shelley Beach just north of Sydney after temperatures in the sand dropped below the survival threshold. They were transported to a zoo in incubators for monitoring and dozens have successfully hatched since then. 93 of the baby turtles were released back into the wild on Easter Sunday night while hundreds of people watched. Around 20 more are expected to be released in coming days.
Two separate tornadoes struck several parts of New Zealand on Sunday and Mondays and suburbs in East Auckland were struck on Sunday night, damaging roofs and bringing trees down. Fire and Emergency New Zealand services said that uh, they received around 50 calls from for assistance on Monday. 50 properties were damaged after another tornado tore through the northern tip of the South Island. The tornado battered the Tasman district less than a day after the tornado that struck East Auckland. Authorities are responding to calls of trees falling onto power lines and roofs lifting off around a dozen houses. No injuries have been reported so far from either tornado. The Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi marked the 50th anniversary of uh, the Project Tigers as he visited Tiger Reserves in the southern uh, in southern India on Sunday. He launched the International Big Cats Alliance, which aims to nurture seven species of the big cats, including the lion, tiger, leopard, and cheetah. The Indian Prime Minister was also seen feeding and petting elephants at the uh, Madhumalai Tiger Reserve Elephant Camp, with a current population of 2,967 Indian. India is home to 70% of the global tiger population in the wild. Tiger population in the country is increasing at an annual rate of 6%. Well, Britain's new King Charles is set to have his coronation ceremony on May 6. The King and his wife will be taken from Buckingham Palace to the Westminster Abbey in a Diamond Jubilee State Coach. Uh, the carriage interior includes samples of objects taken from historic buildings and palaces, while on top sits a gilded crown carved from oak from, uh, from the from the HMS Victory, uh, one of the Royal Navy's 18th century flagships after coronation, Charles and his Queen Consort Camilla uh, will travel in a 260-year-old gold state coach which was first used by George III to travel to the state opening of Parliament in 1762 when he was still King of Britain's American colonies.